The Data Mining and Machine Learning Laboratory. Uh, my name uh, is uh, Dr. Tagi Koshkofta. I'm the director of this lab. We have two labs together in one place. One is Empirical Software Engineering Lab and the Data Mining and Machine Le Learning Lab. These are the projects that we look at during the last five years. The first one is ocean exploration. The ocean exploration, we have looked at the mining underwater images, uh, analysis and processing of videos, a content-based image re retrieval, detecting objects of interest, for example, drug discovery and other things for cancers and other diseases. And this project, that ocean exploration project, that we had a grant that from FAU Center of Excellence in Biomedical and Marine Bio, uh, Biotechnology. So the second project that you see under that coastline security, this is again was three-year project, that coastline monitoring system, that mining of surveillance videos, processing underwater videos, identifying object of interest, and intelligent data analysis. This project was funded by uh, Office of uh, Naval Research. Network security, that another project we worked at for two years. Network intrusion detection, look at intrusion in wired networks, intrusion in wireless networks, network traffic measurements, and advanced data mining. And this was funded by the Department of Defense. The next, uh, next one here, the software engineering, this is very important area that we have worked at during the last uh, 20 years or so. We look at many projects, software measurements, software quality estimation, software risk assessment, software cost estimation, uh, with testing verification, and so on. Uh, for related to this, that we have a current project that the testing and verification of uh, web services. Intelligent computing, which is a general word that we use all sorts of tools and techniques and algorithms to solve the problem. Uh, software development, that whenever we are working on a project, at the end we have uh, the tools, here you see what a sample of uh, those things that we have achieved that during the last uh, what uh, five years or so. One, we developed that content-based image retrieval system that we developed this, and this is part of the Center of Excellence project. We developed software measurement, analysis, and reliability toolkit that we work with NASA. Also, rule-based modeling toolkit with empirical simulation prototypes. That's, you know, these are just sample of the things that we what developed. The sources that we have, as I mentioned, that FAU Center of Excellence that uh, in biomedical and marine uh, biotechnology, we had three years project with them. Uh, the Department of the Defense, three years. Office of Naval Research, three years that we had with them, different times, of course. And the National Science Foundation, and also NASA software, uh, IBMV means what, you know, what verification and validation center. These are the what project we worked on. Over 350 referee journal and conference paper. More than uh, 60 PhD students and uh, master students written thesis and dissertations, and several industry partners we had, uh, we we have we had that, and several what academic uh, what uh, uh, collaborators as well. So as you see that we have two labs together in one place, two about kinds of research, one related to software engineering general, which we have many areas within the software engineering, and the other one that data mining and machine learning. Hello everyone, uh, my name is John C. Sloan. I'm a PhD student here at FAU in the Empirical Software Engineering Laboratory. We've had the opportunity to look at not only testing but formal verification of service-oriented architectures. For one, we're looking at the application of formal methods. The second area has to do more with the looking at a web deployment of, uh, of, of this formal verification. And in the process, we are looking at certain very big computational problems having to do with mining of state spaces in a model checking context. And that data mining problem can perhaps best be uh, distributed over the internet via a volunteer supercomputing architecture. The third area are agents, and the use of agents in what I would like to term a semi-formal verification of service-oriented architectures. Our fourth uh, area of research would be trade-offs uh, formal uh, within the area of uh, validation. Are we building the right system? And verification. 
is the system doing its mission correctly? What we're going to look at is focusing in on just one of these research areas. We've, uh, in our research, have done, uh, used uh, two tools. The first one we're looking at is uh, something known as CPN tools. Each provider, for example, there can be uh, tens of thousands of instances of providers and tens of thousands of uh, instances of users. So this is a big model. So in order to uh, uh, focus more in on the timing issues, we had to abstract greatly from that model. And now we have uh, simply a two-party interaction. Here, a web service portal and uh, a set of workers that are uh, providers of computing cycles for uh, the portal. This uh, formalism, whereas the previous formalism we had was something called a fair transition uh, system, namely a PetriNet, this is a, uh, represented as a timed automata. Hi, uh, my name's Omri, and since I've been here, we've been focusing on a problem in uh, the subdomain of data mining called classification. Examples of some target concept that you want the computer to, to learn and be able to discriminate between multiple categories of, of these examples. So an example is uh, you want to detect credit card fraud, for instance. You have a bunch of attributes about each example of a credit transaction, you know, how much it was for, where it was from, the date, things like that. And then you have a, a dependent attribute, uh, which is the class. It's a categorical variable. In this case, it would be whether or not it was a fraudulent transaction. And so in classification, you try to build a, a program with the computer that will, will discriminate between these multiple classes. And a lot of, of real-world problems where you would apply classification, you have the problem of what's called class imbalance. So when, uh, when most of the examples in your data set that you're learning from have uh, one class, and then there's only a small number of the other class, it, uh, it biases most machine learning algorithms. So those are some of the important application areas where, where uh, you know, there's class imbalance. Uh, another problem in data mining is quality of data. The better, the better quality your data is, the better model you're going to be able to, to create to, to make more accurate predictions. So in our laboratory, we do a lot of empirical research, uh, very comprehensive experimentation to size, etc. We uh, perform many repetitions so we can get a good sense of the statistical significance of our results. So fortunately we've had the use of several supercomputers and computing clusters and we've been able to, to get a lot of work done and you know I think it's it might be safe to say that in the area of class imbalance we're probably well, maybe the, uh, the foremost authorities in the world on practically how that affects uh, classification and which techniques work best. Okay. Uh, the third presenter is uh, Shua Yuan Su, who is going to defend his uh, dissertation that in a few hours, that uh, this is another application of the data mining and machine learning in the area of internet and web. Um, hello, my name is Xiao Yuan Su. I'm a PhD student of uh, Dr. Koshikofta. Because the objective of uh, Calabria Field Team is to make accurate prediction for incomplete data, online shopping uh, websites such as uh, on Amazon, we will, when we log in, we'll get a list of uh, recommendations from the website. And uh, when the recommendation is accurate and satisfactory, the cust uh, customer will be most probably uh, add that to the shop uh, shopping cart and uh, check out. The idea is to find the near, nearest neighbor or most similar users to the current customer. We make the uh, recommendation for the current customer. Uh, I believe we, we, our research have already attracted uh, uh, interest uh, uh, on, on this uh, in, for the research in this area. Also attracted interest uh, from the industry.